Hi. I have been printing using the Anchor Make M5 printer. My very first print was the Benchy. Well, why not? This was printed using the black filament that came with the printer, at layer height of 0.2 mm. This is Anchor Make in-house filament. I have to say that this is hardly a review of the printer, but my experience with printer so far. I am just going to show a close-up view of the prints. These were printed at 250 mm per second. Next up is the ghost. The blue filament ran out while printing, and the changeover of filament was easy. Except stated otherwise, all prints are at 250 mm per second. I have had issues with this on another printer. What will sometimes happen is, the adhesion between one filament and the next is poor. As a result, any slight pressure will break the print, but I sure cannot break this one. Then I printed the Kickstarter test print. At first, I printed this using an old filament. This filament may have absorbed a lot of moisture, hence the poor quality of the print. So I reprinted this using another filament, with the same G-code if I remember correctly, but I am sure all the prints here are from Anchor Make default print profiles, I only changed to a layer height of 0.3 mm for the blue Benchy. This highlighted part shows great bridging. I did not quite capture them well. This blue print was printed from the G-code that came with the printer. It appears to have slightly more stringing. But I have to say that the quality of the print is very good and the overhangs look great. I tried to push these out on the blue print, but I could not. However, on the red print, it was a lot easier to push them out.
Then I went back to the blueprint and I found out that by first giving it a slight twist, or a lateral push, I am able to push some of them out. There is a very slight issue here, perhaps a bad bridging? These spikes here printed so well. They are designed to show flow control, I guess it demonstrates extrusion precision. Going back to the overhangs, there are varying angles on this structure. I have a printer that can do a better job though, the CR30, for obvious reasons. Measurements of these cylindrical part. Enough of this printer test model. Then, I tried printing using ABS. This is my first ever successful ABS print. I bought this filament in January 2019, and I have used three different 3D printers and non could print ABS. Since this has been lying around for a long time, I had to dry it for hours before the print. The first print failed though, as seen in the image at the beginning of the video. There is this slight delamination here, but overall, the print is excellent. I use the default ABS profile at 100 mm per second. There were a few other prints, like this bunny from Zuo 3D, just a cute thing, and the quality is just brilliant. And after that, the articulated dragon. There are other prints that I have not said anything about in this video.
I also captured the filament change part of the ghost print, and it resumed OK. Then I tested the power cut feature, and the printer continued printing with no issues. Overall, this is for me, a great printer and I won't look for another anytime soon. One thing missing though is an enclosure, I wish they had added an enclosure to the printer. I will recommend this printer to anyone. Thanks a million for watching this video. If you have made it this far, then you are a star. Please, like this video and subscribe to help build my channel.